Com. What is uh, motivating you to to do what you're doing? Well, uh, we can't back down from mandatory vaccination because when you destroy choice and liberty, I mean that's just not. No one can no one can condone that. No one can be on board with that. If you want to vaccinate your kids according to any schedule you want, that's your choice, right? But the idea that we would force other people to engage in a medical practice is so. I mean, you know, to be frank, the first historical example that comes to mind is like the Nazi doctors. How can we not see that this is totally inappropriate and it should not be a partisan issue? This is simply inexcusable. You know, so I decided to come out today having because, you know, I've, I'm, I'm up to date on all my vaccines. I've had every single one that I needed to have because I needed to get to work. And, you know, the more research I've done on it, the more I've read about it, the more it's become clear to me that most of these illnesses are mild in people who are properly nourished. And so the first question should really be, how well nourished are people? How healthy are they? Because if they're not healthy, they're not going to withstand any disease, no matter what their vaccination status. And so, you know, the focus is, the bottom line in America is the preventative medicine that gets done and mandated by the government is always making someone a lot of money. And that's wrong, because the best healers I know are fresh air, clean water, sunlight, fresh, local, natural food, positive people, and exercise. Thank you so much. You're welcome.